boy, 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 boy. Isn't it a good day to be a Nintendo Wii owner? Wii U owner? It's a great day, isn't it? What I tell you? See, this is what I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about when I made that video a couple weeks ago about people counting out the Wii U too quick. Oh, the Wii U doesn't have any games. We use graphics. They can't. It can't run this. It can't. Y'all tested Iwata's gangster. Y'all tested Iwata's gangster, and you got dick slapped. So you know what? After you suck his dick, you can come suck my dick. That's what it is. They absolutely killed it on this Nintendo's direct. Fucking killed it. And you know what else is funny? I was gonna talk about this real quick. Is that people thought that I was a Wii U hater because I made that video bashing Wii U fanboys. Yeah, I was bashing, but I'm not on anybody's team. <laughs> I just bash whoever I feel like it. So, hey, it's team multiple, multi, multi console game over here. I'm just doing it for laughs. But, oh, see, you're looking on the other side of the screen saying, damn, them some hot games. Wish I had a Wii U. Well, all I got to do is, uh,. <laughs> Sit back and, um, you know, hey, <laughs> wait for him to drop. That's all I got to do. That's all I got to do. You got to worry about if you're going to play these games or not. All I got to do is sit back and wait. So, let's get off that. Let's talk about this Nintendo Direct. I was very impressed from the small things to the big things about this. Let's talk about some of the big things first. Um... Now, there's been a lot of speculation about, you know, a new Mario Kart. We knew it was coming because it, it, it comes every system, a new Mario Kart comes, a uh, new Super Smash Bros., a new 3D Mario. All these, uh, I want to confirm that there we will be able to see uh, some footage of those in a playable form at the next E3 2013. So we pretty much already know they're about to shut shit down next E3. It's going to be fucking insane. Um, they showed a trailer of uh, um, Wonderful 101, which... By the way, it looks pretty goddamn good. They showed, they announced that um, the same people that worked on uh, Kirby's Epic Yarn is working on a Yoshi's Yarn. So I didn't get a chance to play Kirby's Epic Yarn, but this Yoshi's Epic Yarn looks pretty good. And may I say, for all the graphics facts that hated on the Wii U, oh my God, I'm talking about from from games like this to to what I'm about to talk about in a second. They all look good. Speaking of graphics, let's go straight into it. Now, they were talking about Zelda and um, the Legend of Zelda series. So, it is confirmed that they are working on a bigger Zelda game. Um, a bigger Zelda title for the Wii U. But until then, they're going to give us um, the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Now, this is the difference. This is what I'm talking about. This game, they showed a GameCube preview of this game and they showed a HD preview of this game and what is gonna like on the Wii U do <laughs> do fuck a PlayStation HD remake I'm sorry I'm sorry and I know PlayStation makes some good HD remakes but do no no <laughs> no they they do Oh my god. And this is this is another thing that I like about what they did. And this is what I'm talking about the small things. Not only are they upgrading the graphics, they're gonna they said they're gonna make the gameplay experience more better and it's gonna be me verse compatible. Now, a thing about being a PlayStation gamer is when you buy PlayStation 1 and 2 classics on the PlayStation 3, is that you can't go to the XMB or anything when you're playing them. So it's basically like you're stuck. If you want to get out and check messages or anything like that, you have to quit the game to get out. With this, you'll be able to go to the main menu, go to Meverse, capture pictures and everything from a game that's not even a Wii U title. Not only will you be able to do that on that game, they said uh, they talked about Pikmin 3 and how you'll be able to um, take pictures from the eye view of the Pikmin. So not only is you, I mean, whatever is on the gamepad, what, the eye view of the Pikmin, you know how small the Pikmin are, you'll be able to take pictures with the gamepad and post them on Miiverse. Not only that, but I think some of the virtual console games that they were talking about, you're going to be Miiverse compatible as well. That 
is ridiculous. Nintendo's killing the fucking game. Nintendo is killing the fucking game. So then they talked about something that really interests me. Two things. Um, Miiverse, they're going to be, uh, keep working on Miiverse. It's going to be a summer and spring, um, update to try to make, um, getting in and out of the games faster and Miiverse a little bit faster and better for a lot of people. They're going to be trying to add filters, um, because a lot of posts pop. If you, if you know, if you have a Wii U and you're in Miiverse, you know that posts are popping up every second from everywhere. So they're going to try to filter that so you can, um, you know, see what you want to see better. Another thing that I like they're going to do is they're going to add a Miiverse app on smartphones. I have a smartphone. That's hot. I like that. I like that. What I would like to see them do is not only will you be able to post your pictures in Miiverse, but to have Twitter and Facebook compatibility as well. I do see them doing that in the future. That would be hot. I like that. Um, shit, I forgot what it, it was. So many announcements due, I can't even remember have the shit. It, I was hyped for everything. Oh, okay, here we go. So, I think they're going to start doing um something similar to what the PS3 does, and what it is, is it's like a trial campaign for some of the virtual console games. Another thing before that is, um, they're going to be um, bringing the virtual Super Nintendo and the Nintendo Virtual Console games and some of the GameCube, uh, Game, Advance, Game Boy Advance games, over to the um, Nintendo Wii U, and if you already bought that game as a virtual console game, they're gonna give it to you for a dollar or a dollar fifty, depending on Super Nintendo or, 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 or Nintendo. That's hot. I like that. So, see, I just forgot where else I was going. See, it was due. It was so much stuff. Oh yeah, the trial. There we go. <laughs> the trial. So they're gonna let you trial some of these games, and for thirty cent, which is not bad. I like that. I mean, they're still making their money. I don't have a problem paying 30 cents for a virtual console game. See, I like because most of the virtual console games I've never played in my life. So, it's no problem. A little 30 cents here and there just to see if I like a game. If I really want to download it, that's cool. I like that. Um, is that pretty much it for that part? I think it is. Now, let's talk about the biggest thing. Oh, yeah, before that. Uh, how do I pronounce that? I think it's Megami uh, Ten Tenshi, whatever. I think it's Megami Tenshi. Tenshi. That's what it's called. X Fire Emblem. They got that coming too. And they basically said that they want to bring different experiences because the library of the Wii U is, is growing and growing and growing and growing. So I've never really been big on uh, cross universe games except for Capcom vs. SNK. But we'll see how it goes because I'm actually uh, uh, thinking about picking up the Fire Emblem game that's dropping on the 3DS soon. Now. Let's talk about the biggest part of this Nintendo Direct. It's from Monolith Studios, the same people that made uh, Xenoblade. Um, the trailer, the, the basically the GameCube, and I mean the, the gameplay ended with an X. So everybody's thinking it's Xenoblade 2. Dude. <sighs> the graphics on this game are shitting. Oh my god, dude. The the gameplay is ridiculous. I'm talking about people jumping in mechs. It looks like Monster Hunter on crack. That's what it looks like. It looks like Monster Hunter on crack. That's what it looks like. People just fighting creatures and people jumping in mechs look like Gundam. The graphics were crazy. The water this looks ridiculous. This looks ridiculous. Just just Nintendo, just come. Just, just, this, it's, it's over. They showed a little Bayonetta 2 footage, just a little bit, just like inside the developer studios, Platinum, uh, Platinum Games. But, yeah. So that's it. I was dying, because it, it killed me, because I was at work, and I had to, you know, come home and check it out, because I got a dentist appointment in a couple minutes, actually. So I got to get up out of there. But I had to check out this Nintendo Direct and give you guys my thoughts on it. So, yeah. Nintendo, keep killing the game. Keep killing the game. That's what's up. But I'm going to get out of here. And I also picked this up last night, Nino Kuni. It feels good to be a multi-console gamer right now, doesn't it? Or do you know? Joke's on you, fanboys. Peace.